Hello, good evening everyone. Happy 4th of July if you're living in America. If not, it's just another day for you, I guess. Um, I'm Ryan the Wine Guy. Nazalochon. Alright. Uh, let's get this camera there. That's good. That's good. Um, so we are doing a review after all. Um, wasn't sure if we would, but you know, it's still early and you know, we, uh, it looks like it's about to rain and do thunderstorm. So that might be the fireworks for tonight. I don't know if we're going to really get a chance to go out and see much. But, Can you imagine people at the National Mall? I wonder if they're going to get caught in this. Oh my gosh. <laughs> um, anyway, we are doing Oak Ridge Pinot Noir. Delta Ranch, 2014 from Lodi out of California. Mm -hmm. From Lodi's oldest operating winery since 1934. Really? Yep. Classic Burgundy style. Spicy berry notes with an elegant, silky finish. Gotta be spicy, doesn't it? It's... I, well, I don't know if it's going to be like... Huge, huge spicy, but 13% uh, alcohol by volume. I'm trying to remember what I paid for. The, actually, I bought this at work, so I got this on a good price. But I think it typically is about you won't pay more than 15 for it. So it's a very, I got a little bit of cork in here. There we go. So it's a very affordable, again, 15 bucks, maybe even less. Um, but to start off, as always, uh, doesn't say anything on the back of about it. So we'll just start off right with the uh, color. This is a very actual dark Pinot Noir. For Pinot Noir, this is very, very dark. I'm barely able to see through it. Barely at all. I can, I can just make out my hands a little. Um... Really got that nice kind of rubyish going on on the rims before becoming that sort of deeper uh, redder purple sort of and at the core um, on the on the um, on the nose. Hmm. Wow. That hits you hard. It does hit you hard. I am getting nice. Vanilla notes in there, though. Let's try again. <laughs> Vanilla notes, cherry notes, a little bit of strawberry notes, <laughs> slight bit of earthiness going on, maybe a little bit of plum. Just really tad, tad spice. I don't really get any over the edge spice, but I do sort of get, I sort of get like a little bit of smokiness, a little bit of um, woodiness. Would it be good paired with a gouda cheese? Sure. Okay. And, um, gosh, what else? What, ah, there's just something else in here. Maybe like a, uh, maybe like a little bit of mocha. All right, very, 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 very uh, uh, elegant. I would say it's uh, it's pretty lively. It's, it's, I like it. Let's let's try it. It's a little bit smoother than the other one. Yeah, I'll try one more. It's very smooth, actually. Okay. It's very smooth. Very fruity up front. Nice 
Bing cherries. Nice sort of nice sort of like vanilla-ness in there. Maybe a little bit of chocolate as well. Like some cocoa powder in the back. Just little hints of spice. No, nothing too overpowering. Just kind of nice little... It's almost like it's like tick tickling my tongue in a way. It's like a, kind of like a something like a... Um, I don't want to like... I don't want to like say it tastes like a prickly pear but, <laughs> because it doesn't taste like a prickly pear, but just kind of like imagine what prickly pear would sort of taste like. You sort of get that little prickliness on your tongue from the little bit of light spice that's in here. But overall, it is definitely more on the fruity side. It is more on the smooth side. And, um, even though when you initially sniff it, you get, you get hit with a big whiff, I don't really get that um, on, the, on the palate. I don't really sort of get a big, huge blow in the mouth. It's smooth on the palate. It's usually when, you're, when, you, when you actually make the gulp and drink it down, it's, it's, that's when it really kind of hits and then, you know. Yeah. It's, um, no, it's good. It's good. Um, good, good finish. Um, it's like I, polyurethane. Hmm? It's like polyurethane. Oh. It's like a what thing? P polyurethane. Oh, po polyurethane. Um, medium finish, um, it is sort of drifting away now. So definitely one that you do have to keep on. Uh, sipping to sort of really uh, get those flavors to really immense um, and really stick with you. Um, it gets spicier as you, as the less air comes in. Yeah. I don't know what damn thing done wine. I'm just here. <laughs> get some um, good wines. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. <laughs> but no, it, it, it definitely, it definitely, um, um, you do need to really keep on trying it to sort of keep up with the nice uh, subtle spice and a good fruits and um, vanilla and uh, kind of ch cocoa that uh, is involved in it. Um, so I am going to duck a little bit for the fact that it's not as gr great as a long finish as I'd like it to be. So that's a half a star. And I would say that while the flavors are good, the flavors are there. I don't feel like they just, I don't feel like they just, like I said, there's no like pal, not like that, like you sort of get the smoothness first and then the flavors come along. You don't really get the flavors at the start. And I kind of like at least having an idea of what I'm going into rather than being surprised later on. So once you do get the sip, after the gulp, after it fully goes down, like it's nice and smooth, now, now is when you're starting to taste those flavors that I said. Rather than sometimes you're tasting it almost as soon as it hits the tongue, which is kind of what I like, or is what I prefer for wines. So I am going to deduct another little half star for that. That it kind of takes a takes a little bit to uh, sort of really sink in. But overall, I am going to finish with this with a four stars out of five. The Oak Ridge Pinot Noir Delta Ranch 2014 out of Lodi. I'll give it a four out of negative seven. Just so, be a little bit patriotic today. All right. Well, there you have it, folks. Um, another weird Sean rating, but hey, you know what? One of these days, one of these days, somebody will decipher. Even he doesn't know how to decipher it. So I didn't say that. 
I mean, yeah. I said it in the last video. I didn't say it in this video. Well, who knows? You could be a spy for all we know. I am a spy. Oh, he's a spy. I don't know how I'm a spy. All this right, could become well, very existential. Well, I uh, uh, hope, 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 hope. Everyone, uh, at least if you're an American watching this, don't blow off your hand. And if you do, go to the ER. Yes, yes. So try to remedy it. Be, be, be careful. Be careful out there today. Happy 4th. Um, you know, if, if, if you're drinking, you best not be driving. But and if you do, make sure you're a Republican. Well, I am posting this on YouTube, so there are going to be tons of people watching this now. Thank you. I can't edit that out. Okay, a Trump supporter. I'm sorry. No, 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 no. Wow. I, we may have to redo this all over again. Why? Because I got some Trump supporters following me. Really, dude? Yeah. You serious? I'm serious. You don't think they take a joke? Probably not. Well, man, so, that's um, depressingly stupid. Yeah, well, we kind of ended that video on not such a great note. Um, then redo the video. Yeah, we we should. Well, we're not, I'm not going to do it. You do it, dude. I'm not going to sit here again. All right, we're, we're going to end it now. Be safe.